going to be testing out Call of Duty Mobile on a new cell phone. It's a Moto G Stylus. I'm going to be recording it by piping the screencast function through an NVIDIA Shield. So, let's see, I don't know what this Moto game time is, but you can see it says casting screen to Shield TV. And I got it paired up with a PlayStation 4 controller via Bluetooth. The graphics options, just leaving those as is. It defaulted to medium graphic quality with the high frame rate mode. It seems to work out pretty well. And I don't notice that big of a performance penalty doing this screencast. So I'll try to jump into a match here. And I'm going to be playing off the phone because there's a couple milliseconds of delay if I try to go off the TV. <laughs> So hopefully it doesn't late start me in this team deathmatch, but it is a good sign that it didn't do a countdown. Oh, so it did late start me, so now I can't pick my loadout. Enemy contact. See me better than I can see him. Turn on this tiny screen. Great. Got lucky. Come on, Luke, please. Get away from me. Why would you bring them to me? Thank you, teammate. Is that the same gun I already had? That's my old gun. I picked up my old gun. Good using that smart cast. Sniper! We're in front of the death machine. Oh, is it over? Alright, quick match, testing out on the Moto G7. America. 
I still got second for late joining. I've hardly seen any enemies. And I kept forgetting to change my loadout when I died. Does this guy barely outscore me? This stuff doesn't make any sense. But yeah, pretty cool doing that screencast function. <laughs>